Hi, Paul. How are you? I'm Matt. Yeah, good, thank you. Yeah, nice good. to see you. Um, yeah, and then you. Are you ready for some questions from us? Certainly am. Yeah, I'll do my very best. Fantastic. Is it right that Amicus Horizon are going into partnership with Viridian? Uh, that's correct, yeah. Amicus Horizon and Viridian are looking to form a new partnership. Our board are exploring uh, the options and we believe that uh, it's the right thing for both organisations. The Paul, we're doing really well. Yes. We're the number one large landlord. Mm -hmm. So why do we need all this? Uh, as you know, there's a housing crisis at the moment and uh, the government have reduced the amount of money available to housing associations to build new homes. Uh, so we believe that by forming a partnership, it will create the capacity to enable us to build much needed additional homes. We can also, by working together, uh, provide really great services and we want to make sure we are the most resident focused organisation in the sector. But why have we chosen Viridian? We think that Viridian is a brilliant match. Uh, they value the same things that we value. They have very similar goals. Uh, and they've been providing really high quality social housing for many decades. The thing I really like about Viridian is they are really committed to delivering very high quality customer services, something uh, that's important to me. I know something that's very important to our residents. So, of all the partners available to us, we thought they were the best one. I think the question that we all want to ask is, how will residents and the homeowners, um, how will this affect them? And, mm. and how are we going to benefit from it? Well, as a 44,000 home housing association will be much bigger. Uh, that will increase our influence to enable us to uh, provide even better services for our residents. And uh, the important thing is both Viridian and Amicus Horizon are committed to really listening to and engaging with our residents to make sure that residents help to shape our future and shape the services that we provide. Paul, that's great. Can you tell me more about this or how residents can get mm -hmm. involved? Well, there'll be formal structures uh, for residents to get involved in helping to uh, really drive the business, uh, but there'll also be informal uh, mechanisms as well, whether it's mystery shopping, uh, attending events or surveys, there'll be lots of opportunities for all of our residents to get involved. Paul, oh, that's, that's great. Thank you for that answer. But I, I'm just a little bit concerned about our tenancy agreements. Mm -hmm. I'm a little bit worried that these might change. Well, I can confirm that your rights and responsibilities as a tenant or a leaseholder will remain unchanged uh, if the partnership goes ahead. But will the rent and service charge, would it go up? Uh, rents and service charges won't go up uh, as a result of the partnership. But of course, if the government uh, increase housing association rents, uh, then that would apply in the same way whether we're um, on our own or whether we go ahead and form the partnership. Our repair service is really good at the moment and I'm a little concerned that that will change mm. becoming a large organisation. I'm proud to say that we do deliver a really good quality repair service at the moment and delivering an efficient and effective service is something which we'll want to continue uh, to do into the future. I know it's a priority for residents uh, and it will be a priority for the new organisation. And will we still be Amicus Horizon resident? Well, we're bringing together two big housing associations, Amicus Horizon and Viridian. Uh, and Viridian Amicus Horizon is a bit of a mouthful, so we might want to find a new name uh, for the new organisation. It's a bit of a tricky question, mm. but if all of this goes ahead, could I move to a Viridian home or, or even move area? Well, it's, it's still early days, uh, but as a 44,000 home organisation will be much bigger. We'll be managing many more homes, so hopefully that means many more opportunities for residents to get a move. What about building new homes? Will all of this go ahead? One of the big benefits of the partnership is that it will create a lot more capacity to build a lot more homes. So by 2020, we expect to build at least 1,400 homes a year. That's a 40% increase on what the two organisations uh, are building at the moment. That's very exciting. That means more homes for affordable rent and more homes for shared ownership. Do you know when all this will happen? We expect to get all the relevant consents and approvals in place and all necessary board approvals to enable uh, the partnership to legally form 
by the end of this financial year, which is uh, by April 2017. And we will still be asked for votes on this partnership. Well, this video is part of the formal process of consulting with residents. Uh, there's no formal ballot or vote, uh, but we really want to hear residents' views about the partnership. So uh, if residents do have any thoughts, then we'd love to hear from them.